Yeah, Some more questions. What's it? What's it like working with uh, T. Martin out there? It's everything you would expect, you know, having a former ball come back and coach us, especially on the 98 championship team. I mean, it's just exciting to have him back. His atmosphere, you know, his name, his title, everybody's happy around us, and we're happy to have him. How would you describe his coaching style, personality? Mm, like a quarterback. You know, he tells us when he's a quarterback, he tells us all things, what he's looking for in a, in a receiver, and he just brings it over. So it helps us out a lot when we go with the quarterbacks. What's something he told you about that that surprised you or opened your eyes? Just, like, how fast that, like, if, we, if we're supposed to go outside on a release and we go inside, how fast he'll, like, look off of us because we did the wrong thing and we won't get open. So as soon as we do something just like in that split second, as soon as we do that, like go inside, he'll like, his quarterback mind, he tells us if we're supposed to go outside, go outside. But if we go inside, then he snaps away from us because he knows we're not gonna get the ball. How good can this receiving core be? I think we can be one of the best in the SEC mm -hmm. because we have all the tools here. We have a great coaching staff. Now it's just about want and belief. Do you feel like you guys built up a chemistry with Garantano during the offseason? I, I believe so. I think we all, you know, I think we're all invested more than we were the previous years. I think we all hold each other to a higher standard and we all come to um, compete and work. What do you think you're invested more? Say that Why do you think you're invested more? I think it's because I think because we know what's at stake, we know we have a lot of, um, a lot of, I can't even think of the word, but it's a lot like we have to hold up to, a lot we have to look up for, and I think um, we can do it, so that's why. Mark West, what have you seen from Romel Keaton thus far, and then maybe Cedric Tillman, what's it, how's he improved in the off season? Well, they're both learning, you know, they both come, ask questions, stay after practice, they, they want to know, they want to learn, so they pick our brains all the time. So the receivers, we do what we can to help, any questions, any advice we can give them, we're, we're there for them, so they use us all the time. Any of those guys remind you of yourself at that, you know, a couple years ago? Coming, coming in from high school, a lot. What about you? What did you want to improve on the most this off season? Just being more consistent, you know, being able to be a target that he can trust and not just the court, well, the quarterbacks and the receivers, you know, just the team itself, because I know if, if I can work on little things for myself, it can help the team. Well, Chris, does that investment that you're talking about, does that come from leadership? Does it come just from maturing and knowing that the clock's ticking on your careers? I mean, what? What internally gives you the mindset to be more invested than you've been in the past? Mm, myself, perso personally, I think because one is leadership and two is maturity. You know, we've been here for a while and I know the seniors now and I, we've been here for a while. So we know like this is our last year. So we have to do what we can to go out the way we want to. So do we want to go out like not make it to a bowl or do we want to go out somewhere that they'd be like, all right, Tennessee's getting there. Is that part of the reason why you think you guys have gotten out of the gates as fast as you have this spring? Coach Pruitt said after Monday you guys kicked the defense's tail and he was praising you guys uh, over the weekend. Do you think that's part of the reason why you guys have started so fast? I think so. Um, Coach Chaney's done a lot with the offense. You know, he, he sees us as higher and he's trying to get us to see ourselves that high too. So we go to work, we go to practice every day, we go to meetings room trying to learn. And so this today in practice, we're going to try to do the same thing. Mark Quiz, uh, last year you were good enough to beat Auburn and Kentucky, a couple of ranked SEC teams, and yet some other games didn't play very well. What do you have to do to be more consistent this year as a team? In practice, you know, we have to hold ourselves accountable. And if, if we can play like that against teams ranked, then why can't we play like that to teams who's not ranked? So we just have to find it in ourselves to basically not take any days off and treat every game like it's our last. Was that lack of consistency kind of frustrating last year? Uh, of course it's frustrating because, you know, we're so, we were so much better than what we were giving credit to. And we just, you know, went out there and just didn't perform. And it showed. Mark, uh, Coach Cheney's been roaming around, it looks like. How much time has he 
uh, been spending with you guys at wide receiver? Uh, he comes in our meet rooms almost every day. Just, if not the same thing about football, just to peek his head in and just say something. Just let, let, let us know that he's there. But, you know, he's always with the quarterbacks. He's always, you know, he walks around every position group. So I think he, he's really invested in us. What do you like about his offense? Is Co it, well, yeah, Coach Cheney, what do you like about this offense compared to last, <coughs> last year? Is there a big difference? If so, what is it? What do you like about it? Well, you know, we can only run so many plays. We're going to run it, throw it, or maybe a trick play. But really, it's just, you know, being able to get the concepts down, being able to line up and execute. And that's one thing he's big on. Did you know anything about him when he was hired? I've heard, obviously we heard a lot of stuff about him. You know, he was here before, had a lot of success here. He was at Georgia, had a lot of success there. So um, we know what he's going to bring to the table. Did that give you guys more confidence?